I'm in Windows Server 2025, as you see here. And what I want to do is I want to protect my server from any type of ransomware happening where I could get my files encrypted and held for ransom. So we do that by going to the Start button and going back into Settings. And once we're in Settings, we're going to go to where it says Privacy and Security. And I'll click on Windows Security and virus and threat protection. You can also just go to the search box and just type in virus and threat protection. and It'll just take you directly here. But I wanted to show you the path. Now that we're in virus and threat protection, go down to where it says ransomware protection. It's all the way at the bottom and it's not turned on by default. So I'll click on manage ransomware protection. And this is going to keep applications from making changes to your file, such as encrypting them. So I'm going to turn that on. And when I turn that on, you can see the protected folders that are already protected by default as soon as you turn it on. Documents, pictures, etc. But this is a server, so you're most likely are going to have a lot of other folders that you're going to need to protect. So you can click on Add a Protected Folder. And then we can choose the folder. I'm going to click on this PC, go to the C drive. And I created a folder called Shared Data, so that's the folder I want to protect. Select Folder. And now shared data is also protected from ransomware. So if you have shared data that other people access, that's usually where these ransomware attacks come from. They get into a client computer that's not well protected, and they connect to all the shared folders, and then that's where they do their encryption. Of course, you want to make sure your anti-malware applications are always up to date. Windows Defender is installed by default and updated through Windows updates. So that is how we protect our folders from ransomware on Windows Server 2025.